rock. All right, gather in. This is the Five on Five podcast presented by directmusicservice.com and Nukes Hot Sauce. Still got to re up. Travis, we got to go re up. Yeah, we do got to re up. Uh, maybe we can hit that before Vegas. Uh, That's a great idea. I am Phenom coming to you live from Portland, Oregon. To my right down the street from me, Jupiter Williams, also coming to you live from Portland, Oregon. Down in the desert, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Nick Lopez with that brand new mic. He's a myth? I mean, I guess there is a myth about him, you know, (laughs) because because there there were so many different iterations of Nick Lopez. Yeah, it depends on which version. Yeah, Yeah. you got got little Nick, you know, you got Quartz. Quartz Quartz Lopez. About Quartz Lopez. Nick uh, the you, Freak. You Nick the Freak. You got True Rock. Nick the True Greek Freak. when he does the Greek bookings. Nick the Greek, yes. Only only then. <laughs> um, That's about it, right? Right now? Yeah, I think that's it. I think we that's it. Let's get to our special guest. Okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> our special guest to you coming live down the street from Nick Lopez down in the desert in the belly of the beast. You know him, you love him. We play all of his shit. Travis all plays it. all of his shit. Yeah. We're not going to hype you up too much. There's plenty of time for that. Make some noise for Teen Wolf. Boom, boom, hey, boom, boom. what's up? AKA Ty Dollar Menu, AKA Tamale hey, Impala. Hey, hey, I'm glad you said Ty Dollar Menu. <laughs> <laughs> Travis has been good, good segues for a lot of things going on for this episode. So, absolutely. Yes. Get into it right away. No, no, no. no I mean, no, 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 no. No, no yet, I mean, we're it, going we'll to. It. We're going to. I'll, I'll tell you why. We got a lot to cover. We got a lot to cover today. Um, what we do every week, we compare two artists head to head, their top five songs as viewed most popular on Spotify. It gets weird. It gets gross. You'll want to take a shower after this. And this week, providing the fun, Travis, your pick. We got Nate Dog versus Ty Dollar Sign. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Didn't even hype it. Didn't even preamble it. Just, no, just Segway Kings right out the gate. Uh, <laughs> segway Kings, no segue. Just fuck it. <laughs> well, he said Ty Dollar Menu. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, see, Segway Kings. See, Set up. yeah. Didn't I like know that. the punchline yet. The alley alley and the oop. You? I like that. Travis, let's get into round one. All right, let's do it. Round one. Nate Dog ain't no fun. If the homies can't have none mm. versus see okay this is why I'm sorry song. exactly so this is why i picked these two because these two are kings of features right i was just gonna say i don't i don't think i know like a straight up nate dog song you might we're gonna we're gonna get okay to some. okay we're gonna get to some but a lot of these songs for both artists are features cool so okay. nate dog Ain't no fun versus Ty Dolla Sign chosen. Actually, blast chosen featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Uh, we'll start off with Team Wolf. So what am I do? Uh, we're picking, so, yeah, picking aside. Pick, pick uh, this or that. Ain't no fun all the way. Let's go, oh, man. I can't, I can't not to. And I, I, I mean, I, I, I feel like that was like a alley oop from. Uh, Snoop to uh, Nate Dog for yeah. his own song, you know. Yeah, it's just kind of like that. That's a Nate Dog song. If I, if I think about it, it's a Nate Dog song, right? Oh, yeah. But it was on like you know Snoop's album. From mm-hmm. what was it? Was it? It was Doggy Style, right? It was Doggy Style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, and like Nate, Nate gets Nate the first verse. That song. Yeah, he bodied that song. That yeah, that's him. But at the same time, that's what Ty Dolla Sign does on every song that he's featured on. Yes, and he produces. True. Yes. Mm. Yes. He did two didn't boot it. Yes, he did. He did. He did two didn't boot it. And his dad was in uh Lakeside. Yes. Bass player of Lakeside. I did not know that. Bass That's player. awesome. That's cool. Yep. Uh Colin. What you got? It rings off every time you play it. Ain't no fun. Ain't no fun. That's easy. That's an easy no. one for me. Yeah, you're yeah. going you're going you're choosing a veteran against a, a rookie on this one. Yeah. So. Yeah, ain't no fun is like a certified classic, like yeah. it's tried and true, and it's my first album ever. So I got in trouble for this album at six years old. So I'm yeah. going with doggy style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to grab these girls' booties over here. I was like, all right, 
Sweep them. Round sweat, two. Sweat. Round two. Nate Dog. Um, party we will throw now versus Ty Dollar Sign. More like uh, title the creator. Uh, what's your name? Mm. Mm-hmm. Call it. Album of the year. Easily. Easily. Easily in Easily. my book. Uh, what's your name? That's banger. Yo, I played that song last Friday and it just went off. And it's just such a smooth song. Such banger. a smooth song. Banger. Tyler, I don't want to get too much into Tyler because we haven't done uh, a Tyler episode yet on the right. show. But Tyler has so many different dimensions, so many different angles. And he's really fucking good at all of them. All of them. To be yeah. quite honest. So, you know, like when he came out, he's like, hey, here's Yonkers. And everybody's like, oh, this is dope. This is how this guy is going to rap. Just boom, and like, bat, boom, bat, New York sounded. <laughs> yeah. Like, no fucking chance. Like, somebody from LA just bodies like an East Coast type beat. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that song rips. What's your name for me? Listen there. Uh, team, team. Wolf. Yeah, I'm with uh, I'm with him on that one. I, I like uh, I like Tyler, and I like uh, Ty on that. Yeah. Mm. So, and I've been yeah. a big big fan of uh Tyler since the Odd Future days, the Earl sweatshirt mixtapes uh, yeah, and stuff God. like that. So, so hell, so I was we were me and my uh, buddies were all like, "Where's Earl?" Where's Earl? Free Earls. Free Earls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm with uh, Ty Dollar on that one. Earl's but I mean, high, Earl's Hive be like that though. Yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, I can't say that I I followed him throughout his return. I think yeah. it was more about like that pre In the moment we wanted that mystery, him. right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Is he? But he did do well with uh, the first song that he came back with. He did. When he, when he was looking like a young J. Cole. Yep. <laughs> yep. I think uh, I, it just got a little too, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to. It, it stayed the same. It really, it's the same shit. I just stopped following it. Yeah. Where it Tyler like- Tyler uh, evolved, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I feel like, I mean, him, me, and a bunch of us, we're all like, kids of the neptunes you know uh-huh. yeah, such a big neptunes fan. absolutely yeah absolutely and so uh yeah whatever it's, he does i'm i'm listening hard is odd future like the strongest god maybe the strongest posse since wu-tang to break out like independently with projects nick says no um only ASAP, because asap mob i say i would put I mean, ASAP and Odd Future are kind of similar in that regard because only two members are really breakout artists. Odd Future yeah. had three, if we're counting Earl, but he didn't like breakout, breakout. Frank, Wait a minute, three. More than that. That's they what I'm saying. Like, way more than that. Like breakout, like too. way, way the internet, more than that. The internet. Wait, so you got you got Tyler, you got the internet, and then you go deeper, you got Sid. Yeah, right? brain yeah she, and then you got Sid's brother Taco, who's starring on Dave. No, but like that's not a, he didn't break out. Like Taco didn't like what the fuck did he do? He's in he's in Dave. He's on a Hulu <laughs> TV show. Fair Chase. It's one of the best TV shows on on that's, FX. That's it's not basic, just Hulu. That's Tito, bro. That's Tito from the Jackson Five. That's not. Oh, don't go that far, man. Don't go that <laughs> he, far. He's a co-star. Hey, on hey, it. hey, Tito still. I'm got not money. saying it's not an accomplishment, still but like. That's not Tyler, the creator, big. Like, that's no, not that big no, of a no, deal. No, but we're talking we're talking about breakout stars. I didn't know that we were talking about superstars. That's it's like, that's very BC list star. No, because what are you comparing it to, ASAP? No, I'm comparing it to Tyler in the internet. Bro. <laughs> that's not as big. That's just no, not he, as big. He's still walking the red carpet at the Emmys. Your Ooh, mother the knows. Internet's your, not your doing mother, that. Your mother knows talking, talking. who Tyler the Creator is. Your mom doesn't know who Taco is. My mom doesn't know who the internet is. She knows who Tyler the Creator is. She knows. She who would Frank know Ocean who Taco. Is. She would know who Taco is over the internet because of FX. 
<laughs> you're, you, he's getting Disney money, bro. Okay. He's getting okay. Disney money. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll I'll let it go. Like, cause I'm thinking of like, but Wu Tang just like work. They had multiple signings. Yeah, they okay. Wu Tang deals and different yeah. labels. Yeah, but I feel like Wu Tang yeah. for the time had something way bigger. Yeah. But did anybody from Wu Tang? Oh, Method Man was, but like, yeah, Method Man was probably the biggest thing out of there. The RZA had a big thing, like behind the scenes. Um movies and such too yeah so like he i i ground but i think about like monumental acts that came solo from wu-tang all like rizza and method man are really the two big ones odb 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 duh i forgot about that odb ghost space ghost space ghost. Ghost. so yeah no every, like, i'm an idiot because ghost is like my favorite rapper in the world and then ray kind of falls like in that same pocket mm. inspected deck later with um his thing with uh what's it called uh the thing he's doing now uh it's the comic book stuff um oh my god it's gonna drive me nuts the the fucking uh, uh, you got czar face oh the czar face mm. czar face mm-hmm. so like he's kind of doing a thing like they got too much like there's too many big things that came from that czar face is kind of like a deep hip-hop cut but it's still got like a cult following it's like let me move, let me move the goalpost i'll move the goalpost on this is odd future bigger than dungeon family i i think that's a better comparison that's a better parallel to me is odd future bigger than asap mob yes yeah by far yes yeah. okay yes yeah, because ASAP Mob was like they had two stars that we knew, and they about. and they they feel different. You know, they're yeah. they're doing two different. There's people in ASAP Mob. I don't know what the hell they do. Yeah, <laughs> like ASAP, do they make music? ASAP or? carry the backpack. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. It's that's like Brock Hampton. <laughs> like Brock Hampton, you're like I know Kevin, and that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I'm not that connect. Like, obviously, not like that close to any of these people. But as a fan, I guess like the the easiest parallel. I think Dungeon Family is a good parallel for Odd Future. If, if like as far as like '90s to then. But but I'm saying the original was that um, Odd Future is the biggest posse since Wu Tang. Biggest posse since, sure. I, think I mean, they, they didn't have any of the, uh, what is what would I say, uh, luxuries that the uh, record industry gave back in the day to, you know, Wu Tang mm-hmm. and all that. I mean, like signings and mm-hmm. bonuses and stuff like that. They just, they built that from the ground up. So they're very mm-hmm. similar. Like they created a brand out of their crew. You know what I mean? Like Wu Tang became like so many things like they put the yeah. w on everything and then we wear and, and the where and then, and odd then future like, has the same odd future kind of did the same thing like odd future became a th- like a brand and yeah. like had a tv show and clothing line and the kids all wanted to wear the of the same way we all wanted to wear the w's like it was rizza produces tyler produces mm-hmm. and then they have like other guys underneath like like the the lower tier guys like a. Um, who's <laughs> Domo and fucking Domo, uh, Domo and Genesis should have been Domo, huge. Jim is just Domo was fresh. Yeah. Uh, you remember Jet Age of Tomorrow? What was uh what's the what was the group with uh the Squidward looking cat? <laughs> um what was it left brains? <laughs> left brain, oh, left brain yeah. and uh Haji, Haji Beats. And they had some really yeah. fucking dope. Yeah, they were they were Jet Age of cool. Tomorrow. Is that them? Is that what yeah. they called themselves? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were fresh. Their shit was fresh. Um, it just was. It's it's rap shit. Like it's deep yeah. rap shit. It's not it, pop shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sidebar got deep. Ty dollar sign. Train. Train got <laughs> yeah. off the rails on that one. Uh, we're back. Which way are you going on round two? Uh, Tyler the Creator. Tyler. Okay. I don't even know okay. that name. Yeah. Song. I had to look it up. Yeah. How the fuck is that? It's a two? Warren G song. I yeah. that's what that one scraped by me. I'm gonna people are gonna laugh at me if it's popular because I never heard that one. All right. <laughs> um round three. 
Because that was a sweet four, Tyler the Creator by way of Ty Dolla Sign. Round three. Ty Dolla Sign by way of Tyler the Creator. So round three, I Got Love, Nate Dogg, versus Ty Dolla Sign, Spicy. Hey, we got two solo Mm. records from both of them right here. So Uh, I Got Love, Nate Dogg, versus Ty Dolla Sign, Spicy, Nico. Nate Dogg. I had to make sure I was right. Yeah, Nate Dog. Take it <laughs> easy. I'm going spicy on this one. Hey, I really like that song. That's a cut. I've been I've been dropping that a lot. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. The remix too is good. Yeah, the remix is really good. I'm right there with you. Um, it's a good pop song. It is <laughs> like pop rap. <laughs> it is. Yeah, Lady, ladies love that song. Yeah, Round I play four. that song. I play that song and look around. And I'm like. The most square, the most square chick in the club is dancing to the song. I'm like, how do you know this song? It's TikTok, yeah. Got to be TikTok. It's got to be right. Post Malone's on it. Post Malone, yeah. It's because of Post. Yeah. Posty. Okay, round round four. I got a Post Uh, Malone request last night, by the way. Which one? Congratulations. No, she said play anything Post Malone. Oh, did you play White Iverson? Uh, I didn't play any Post Malone, actually. Wait a minute, no, you didn't play Post Malone last night. You're like, hell yeah, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I mean, I would have, but it was just like, she was like trying to talk and yeah. like a whole thing. And and uh, she was like, oh, and don't play any more Drake either. And I was like, oh, it's the number one song in the world right now. And she was like, uh, she was like older and she's like, oh, I know, I just, and I'm like, sorry, that's what the kids like. And she's like, do you mean I'm old? And yeah. I was like, are you 21? And she's like, no. And she's like, my son is though. And I was like, oh, <laughs> well, so then yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> if the shoe fits, madame. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to go back to playing too sexy now. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. He, let me give you a request and also a request of what not to play. Anymore. Yeah. Just <laughs> also stop playing Drake, please. Yeah. <laughs> let me go tell these people to stop dancing. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Round four. four. Round four. We're back to uh, another solo cuts from from the two. Nate Dog, Music and Me versus Ty Dolla Sign or Nah. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know. Easy, right? Yeah. Should we just move on to round five? Yeah. That's Are we all saying Ty Dollar Sign? Easily. Okay, okay. Cool. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> round five. Nate Dog. So fly. Uh versus Ty Dollar Sign or versus Kaylani featuring Ty Dollar Sign. Nights like this. Well, of course it, it would be ra- round five. I missed the uh, Nate Dog song. Oh, the Nate Dog song is So Fly. Oh, damn. I'm going So Fly. Yeah. Yeah, So Fly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's... Ty Dog Sign missing a lot of songs, though, like Paranoid. Yeah. Yeah. Paranoid's not on there. Spotify's uh, got... Spotify's doing him dirty right now, but that's because he's on fucking everything. He's on everything, so yeah. Anytime something new comes up, it fucks up his top five, I'm sure. Yeah, none of, none of his track. Kanye tracks are on there. None of his Drake tracks are on there. The stuff yeah. he did with Cashmere Cat was really good, too. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. The K. Trinata song was good. Even his um, Midnight Hour. Ah, love that yeah. song. Love that song. I remember That's saying or nah so often. <laughs> <laughs> like, that be, that for real, like, seeped into, like, yeah, pop culture. That, that turned like, into we were pop. all, like... Yada 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 or not. Nah. You want to go here or no? Nah? You trying to kick it or no? Nah? <laughs> <laughs> or no. <nah. laughs> Are we surprised? Can that... we just start singing that every time we say it now? <laughs> or no. <nah. laughs> Are we surprised that Ty Dolla won? I kind of am. No. I mean, I was hoping for like Lay Low from Nate Dog at least. That's why. That's why I'm not surprised that Ty won. At the minimum, a yeah. late low in there. What about regulators? Oh, yeah. Why Maybe? Is regulators? Mm-hmm. Not area codes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Area, area codes. codes. Yeah. Nate Dog uh, was on some shit, bro. Nate Dog was. What about I mean, like, 
Ooh, oh baby. yeah. Shout out to baby. Mark. Nah, nah, shout out to Ghostface. Nah, nah, nah. Shout out to <laughs> Ghostface. Neek, wait till you hear his solo project. He's good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, you guys are gonna you guys you guys like Wu Tang Clan? <laughs> Wait till you hear Ghostface by he himself. Branched off. He branched off by himself. He branched off. <laughs> you like you that show on Hulu? <laughs> there's there's an Yo, actual band. Remember Taco? He's got he's he's a supporting baby, character baby, on a baby. fucking really niche show <laughs> about a rapper that was popping 15 years ago for like five minutes. Oh my god. Uh let's That's take great. it to the lightning round. Let's take it to the lightning round. Um what we do, this is for Teen Wolf only. We put you in the isolation chamber. You pick a this or that starting. Oh, let's do this. You pick a this or that. You can only keep one of the artists and the other you have to get rid of forever. Oh. Starting with this, Lil' Kim or Foxy Brown? Who I'm getting rid of? Uh, I guess Foxy. Yeah, keeping. Yep, yep. Which one you you gotta you gotta go, you got to go in I'll your go, Serato oh, right. right now. Yeah, I'm going with Kim. Yeah, you got to go in your Serato right now and get rid of all your Foxy Brown records. <laughs> all right, done. Yeah, that's part of it. Like, <laughs> let, me, let me drag all four. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lauren Hill or Shaka Khan? Uh, I'm going Lauren, man. I'm a Fuji's fan uh, all day. Method Man or Red Man? Well, I mean, you get rid of one. They still got the collabs together. So, <laughs> but see, it's kind of like Marvel <laughs> Universe where you like Just you dust them. Boy. So now their verses are all instrumentals. <laughs> <laughs> it's just empty. It's just empty. It's just it's a long bridge for sixteen bars. So it's just like innovation. <laughs> uh, I'm staying with Red Man. Yo, listening to the Rockweiler without <laughs> Meth's verse. <laughs> <laughs> no, Damn, someone's but... just reading it in a monotone voice and then they go back to a rap. <laughs> just lyrics. <laughs> oh some, man. Some butler, some fancy butler with <laughs> Yeah, but if, if I'm getting rid of meth, he's he's out of Wu Tang. Yeah. So Let's then see. I gotta stay with meth then. Sorry. Still got Sorry, Redman. Oh, but I was torn. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Calvin Harris or Soldier Boy? I like Calvin all the way. Hey, Ray Schremer or Ti? I'm going Ray Schremer. They got Guatemala. That's Shout that's out the motherland. Yeah. That Cypress that is a cut. Hill, Cypress Hill or Public Enemy? Cypress. You gotta stay with my Latinos. Rick James or Childish Gambino? Rick James, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Steely Dan or Gangstar? Uh, I'm going Gangstar. Okay. The Roots or NERD? Oh, NERD. No question. Yeah, no question. Diddy or Rick Ross? I'll stay with Rick. Okay. Queen or David Bowie? Queen. Clips or Mob Deep? Clips. Travis Scott or Future? Travis. Trick Daddy or Gucci? Believe it or not, Trick Daddy. <clears throat> Take a lot of kids. <laughs> Weezer kids. or Blink? Uh, Blink. ACDC or Guns N' Roses? ACDC. Not a fan of uh, Gans and Roses. Is a uh, Axel Rose. Yeah, he it's it's too much of a too much of an attitude. Oh. I mean, I get it. You're a rock star and all that shit. <laughs> they, throw, they, they throw they throw a penny at him. He's like, it's over. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> See that video? Yeah. yeah. Throw, Wasn't they, it? They hit him with like a rumors of being like openly racist or some shit like that too. Oh, like, is he? he could some, I don't know. I I, I think that's. What I've read, but how does that work? Because Slash is half black. Slash is like a Slash quarter black, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Slash wouldn't put up with that. No, I don't know. I don't know Slash. <laughs> I don't know what he would or wouldn't put up with. <laughs> He's like, no. Sade Slash. or Aaliyah. 
How did you say her name? Oh, we can say it how we say it on the CD now. Charday. Yeah, Charday. <laughs> Charday it is then. <laughs> I <don't know> it. <laughs> Ate it. I did too. <laughs> Charday. <laughs> uh, Sheik or Earth, Wind, and Fire? I'm going Earth. Bee Gees or Fuji's? <laughs> They're both my G's, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to go Bee Gees. Missy or Busta? Missy. Uh, Prince or Michael? Michael. Woo! I haven't heard of Michael in, in a minute. It's, yeah, it's been a one, it's been a minute. Been a minute. Six hundred and twenty-seven episodes since we heard of Michael, so I like that. Yeah. Um, which actually segue kings uh, in one sec, but we'll do the last one real quick. Outcast or Hall and Oates? Outcast. Okay. Segway kings. Hey, he said that with no hesitation too. Though, oh, yeah. So. Right away. Yeah. Right away. The, the, this this lightning round was not built for Teen Wolf. No. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to listen to? <laughs> Segway Kings, gentlemen, uh, this week, the talk on Twitter. Who's the bigger celebrity, Michael Jackson or Drake? Uh, I'll head up to the chat. Yeah, MJ. Come on, MJ. Man. Wembley, Wembley Stadium. The original Wembley Stadium is bigger than the Wembley Stadium right now, currently. MJ was selling that bitch out on a weekend. Yeah. Three, three shows, adding adding two more shows like it was nothing. Like it was nothing, just selling that shit out. Mm. And that's just Wembley Stadium. Mm. MJ, MJ. Yeah, MJ, easily. Across the board, Nick? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's... I think, I don't know, maybe don't because the- I'm not personally a Drake fan, but I see him everywhere. You know what I mean? Obviously, like... And, his, that, and that's the thing, too. His celebrity is undeniable, but yeah. Michael fucking Jackson? That's different. That's people, the thing. People aren't fainting. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. just looking at him. Yeah. More Bieber, I guess. People, yeah. Like, little kids like- are fainting seeing yeah. that kid. Like, MJ, that's more Drake, of a more parallel comparison, but, like... Drake, Drake can't stand still. And have men and women fainting over you by just standing still. Yeah. And like, then not to mention, as soon as you make a move to take your glasses off, and people are still going crazy and fainting, that's a different he, level. He yeah. moves his hand. It's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I may have been one of those people. Oh, no, I for <laughs> sure was one of those people. There's a good chance that if I was of age to go to a Michael Jackson show. Yeah. I probably would have like fainted for sure. I, I would have been one of those people where I would have got the call the next day. Yo, I saw you crowd surfing. No, they no, were they taking were... my body to the back because I was fainting too much. Yeah, he's out of there. This were is you... a mess. This is a message, by the way. I'm already dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dead body. <laughs> Leave a message after the beat. Yeah. It's like chasing, chasing the car on the way out of the concert, just crying, sobbing hysterically. Police Seeing escort the hand out the window. Yeah. yeah. Some people said that that will never happen again because every artist is so accessible now. That's why. Yeah. You know, you can see what Drake's eating for lunch on his IG. Mm-hmm. You know, Michael was just like, shit, I happen to be outside Michael Jackson's hotel. And there he is up there. And people right. Like, Hold a blanket. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> like the fucking Look pole. at Michael and blanket out on the balcony. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I, don't know if, so I don't know if you guys saw the uh, debate of who's the real queen of pop. Is it Janet or is it Madonna? Oh, uh, we can get into this. I saw that on uh, uh on Twitter. Like I thought, I thought Britney was the queen of pop. Who? No, Madonna. Britney can't be. Can't Madonna be. Easily can't be. Madonna or Janet? Yeah. So then people were like, people were saying, but uh, Janet was the queen of pop. But everybody had already crowned Madonna. I thought. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought know. I thought that Madonna was crowned that already. 
I didn't know that. I didn't know that Janet even had a name connected to her. I didn't like, know that. Like a, Jackson. Oh, oh, yeah, Jackson, Jackson. Besides yeah. Jackson, she had <laughs> like a, an official royal title. <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't have a royal title. <laughs> a kingdom, a queen. No. <laughs> she a jurisdiction. Didn't have a royal title, but she was sitting at the table. I mean, you know, she was. Janet, close, she's Jackson. She was the royalty. closest to Mike. You know, she was closest to Mike at the table. Yeah. You know. People are saying Janet over Lady Gaga. I would say that, but I I understand that Lady Gaga's fandom is fucking absurd. And that's it's huge. the one that people paint uh faint for. Yes. Like I'm not personally a big fan, so I can't like speak on that because I'm not like that familiar. But I do know like people go ape shit. But people do that did that for Janet. People too. did that for Janet, man. People yeah. did that for Madonna. And now I'm kind of looking at like catalog and how long it went on. I feel like they have very similar like time frames. I mean, Janet, Janet came was out on the scene as a as a little as a, girl, as a kid. Yeah. So yeah, they were both everybody in the industry at the same time, huh? Yeah, but like the heights of their career were kind of like at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Started in the '80s, exactly. early '80s. Yeah. Went on into the '90s. Yeah. So we'll say like a solid 15 year like power it, run. Ended at the Super Bowl. Ended at the Super Bowl. Both of them. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. LMFAO out there shuffling. Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, God. Damn, that's painful. A, wow. I don't know. I don't know who I could choose. I don't know. You who have I could to. Choose. You have to crown. You have to crown Madonna, right? Because just the sheer fact that. I feel like that's what I thought. I, well, I fucking thought it was Britney Spears. So I don't know. Oh, really? I don't know why I, I thought it was Britney Spears. I, I thought that was her thing. I think Britney she was like Spears the princess. Waves, though. Wait, I, think they were, I thought there were princesses. Yeah, there was princesses. There were princesses. Pop princesses. Yeah, and then it was like Justin was a, a pop prince. Prince. Of pop. prince. The prince of pop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so since we're all here, who's who's your uh, dream uh, versus? Who's my dream versus? It's funny because this show kind of is like, our ideal, oh, yeah, like, this, like yeah. just like, oh, I would put this against this. Like every week, we get to pick like two matchups, and that's kind of how I've been treating my picks. Is that, like that's how I've been treating my picks too. Yeah. yeah. So what I wanted a, as a versus, I personally Usher Chris Brown. Oh God, <laughs> so much glow. <laughs> See, just on we, ice okay, skates. well we did we did the five on five Usher versus Justin Timberlake. Um. I don't remember who won that. I I want to say remember. Usher won. That. I want to say Usher won it too. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> well, let's say Usher, ver- Usher, Usher versus-, versus Chris Brown. It's so much dancing, so much gliding, just yeah. dancing. It it I- would have to end in a dance battle yeah. for sure. I'm going yeah. with Usher, yo, only because I like I I I feel like I would like Usher more as a person. Wait a minute, can Usher can Usher have the roller skates? If Usher can have the roller skates, I'm picking Usher all the way. I'm going with Usher either way. Yeah. Roller skates or Sans roller skates. I'm in. But wait, if if you had to pick one versus, what's your versus? Between the two of them? No, no, if, just like in general. Oh, just your, one. Oh. If they were like, hey, it's your turn to pick a versus for the world. I feel Damn. like dead or alive, like the, the Mickey one is Tupac versus Biggie. Like, that would be so sick if they were alive. Do a hologram? Oh, my God. Hologram versus hologram would be fucking absurd. Do a hologram and let, like... I don't like the idea of versus, though. Like, because it's not... I like the original because it was just, like, beats. It's just two guys make beats. Like, this beat is better than your beat. Yeah, as producers. Neptunes versus uh, versus Tempo. Yeah, like, that's sick. Like, Swiss versus Tim was sick. And then when it turned in... Or, like, the RZA versus... Who did the RZA go against? Premiere, premiere, like that's fresh. Like, just we're talking producers, like comparing beats, and then when it became like artists, just mm-hmm. hits versus hits. It's... See, I really, I really dug the uh, Teddy Riley versus Baby. I like that one because because of the the comedy factor, and I I wasn't like. I love the music. That's just me. I love the I love songs. It. Don't get me wrong. Like most of the verses, like there's songs I love, but like it's it's just a weird concert. It's like yeah, watching. No, that's what it old. is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but no, what the Teddy Riley is funny because like the, the technical difficulties and like his ring going off. Like, yeah, that was, <laughs> who's at the door? Like who's it? Like that was. 
that was why I like the Teddy Riley one. <laughs> yeah. I would say, honestly, man, Outcast and Hall and Oates still, but I yeah, really man. a very specific group of people that are going to be uh, tight about this, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah. like it, this, this isn't going to affect everyone the same. It's going to take somebody that avidly listens to all fucking music a mm-hmm. lot, a lot, a lot to come in there and be like, Man, I don't really know. <laughs> like duo versus duo. Like, I don't know. I would say 10 songs from each. Like, that's the thing. Like, I wouldn't want to do more than 20 songs for Biggie versus Pac because then it starts to get like 20 through through 30. You're like, Ugh, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> but at the same time, no. You remember how you remember how Jada Kiss came with the performance. Like a lot of those songs that that the locks are doing was songs that I'm like I don't think this will ring off on the verses, but then they came and performed it. Different vibe, and it rang off. Different vibe. I um, I would like to see like on some yacht rock shit like Michael McDonald versus Hall and Oates. What yeah. about do, what about doing the Holy Trinity? Well, the Holy versus- Trinity isn't official, but. Okay, so the Holy uh, Trinity is Kenny. Uh, Kenny, Kenny Loggins, Michael McDonald, and Christopher Cross. Right. We we refer to them as the Holy Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole if the Holy Trinity versus fucking anybody, bro. If you ask me, they're body and they're taking everything. Nobody's fucking with the Holy Trinity. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Who? They ran a decade. Those three <laughs> versus Hall and Oates and Steely Dan. Oh, so Steely Dan gets to jump in with Hall and Oates. So two, uh, f- three on four. No, that's you, bullshit you can, because the, 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 the Trinity did songs together. Like Steely Dan and Hall and Oates weren't doing tracks together. No. Well, no. No. In fact, Steely has Michael McDonald on a backing vocal. Yeah. So nah, fuck that. That's that's cheating. It's one or the other. And fuck that. It doesn't matter. Let them team up. 10 10 versus 20 fucking Holy Trinity tracks. It's a wrap. Mm. Five and five and 10 on our side. Yeah. The Trinity What's, what's your right. third favorite Christopher Cross song? My Go third ahead. favorite? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. Oh, you. If I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> he came in real strong until I had to spot the third song, and he was like, "What?" Name, name three misfit songs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next thing I want to talk about on here, uh, I saw on Twitter. I've been finding a lot of good shit on Twitter. Who's the most recognized rapper ever? Internationally, decade by decade. If you put them on Mars and show a picture of this person or them, who is it? Jay-Z. Grandmas know him. Everybody knows him. I was going to say Drake, but yeah. (laughs) I mean, whoever's a fan of Beyonce is going to know Jay-Z. Yeah, Beyonce, Beyonce's got a huge. That yeah, Beehive is crazy, man. Beehive's business, not fuck around. Business people, Wall Street guys, they know Jay Z too. Mm-hmm. Who's yeah. second? Kanye. Drake. Drake. Maybe Drake. maybe Kanye. Boy. Kanye's up just because because of the buffoonery from recent years. Yeah. I think I think as the loudest voice in the room at all time, it's got to be Kanye. Yeah. It, you know, and and I think that's the power of the throne, where it was those two as the biggest acts in the world. 20, 20 years, 30 years, pairing up together. Like, <clears throat> if you look at that, and then they Drake and Future did something, you're like, not even close. But... Isn't it crazy to think? But like, Future wasn't close to Jay or Ye. He was good at, for the time. He was in his prime. He was in his prime. He was in his prime. Yeah, he was in his prime. But his prime is different from a Ye prime. From Jay Z's and <laughs> Kanye West prime. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, right. Yeah, I think 
those three are probably the big names. Isn't it crazy that like at one point, like we'd probably be saying Wayne, like Little Wayne? He was remixing um, everything. He was just yeah. on everything, and he yeah. was really good. <clears throat> yeah. And it's like, yeah, but like now it's I don't I I wouldn't go with Little Wayne. Honestly, I love I do love every single track that Little Wayne has been popping Still? up. Still, oh really? My God. <laughs> he's, he's stupid he's stupid there's something wrong with that. that's good i'm glad you're loyal there's something wrong with that man i heard I, my spotify like recently like you know the newly added stuff my new releases and he, a song of his popped up and i was just like oh how the great have fallen like the fall from great i have n- i've never heard this song i have no idea who this person's song is mm-hmm. and it sounds like some like 2010 2011 shit like a pop song mm-hmm. right he's just dropping a verse on i'm like what the fuck is going on wayne how much is a wayne verse right now oh, it's that's a sad there. question it's probably still up there it's but it's still it, up there today's price isn't yes not what you price. think not what you think no it can't be it can't be today's price I mean, ain't what yesterday's he's, price he's still a little wayne yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying though. it's still, still a big price like, top 10 it's still a big price, but it wasn't what it was in 2010. But does it need to be? But yeah, so here's the thing: it it's like, is, to is it going to be worth the money that he's going to charge you? Is the yeah? Right. No, no. I mean, look, I, I'm not doubting that he gets his ability is still there. He's he's good, and it probably costs a lot. But, but uh, is it is it going to get you a million it, plays? Probably right. not. Would you rather hey. go for a bad bunny feature? Wayne yeah. would put in Vegas place. residency. If Wayne had a Vegas residency, he would smoke. I think it. he still is. He's at he's at Dre's, right? I'm like, oh, is he? Drink he's at Dre's. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's at. Dre. Does but he like, smoke Dre's? Oh, Dre's. I don't. I've never been to Dre's on a night with Wayne there, but I know he's there. I've seen the billboards. Hmm. Yeah, like I don't think he could sell out a stadium tour at this point. Well, not many can right now. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is in order to do that, you kind of have to maintain a certain amount of like popularity and relevance. And yeah. when you step out for too long, out of sight, out of mind, and then the new kids come in and like now you're just like music moves so quickly. I think to take that much time off. But just... at, the, at the same time, though, no, that's not the that's not the move that he's going for because you know how much money is thrown into all that shit, you know? Yeah. So that, that would mean that he's really making a, a, an album push, an album run uh, of some I want to know what happened. To, like, know? I know, like, I think he got tied up with baby and not yeah, being able that, to yeah, legal anything. issues. Right. And that then one. like drug issues. Um, well, yeah, I mean, he was in jail, but I mean, you know what happens when oh, he went to jail. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You know what happens when artists go to jail? Their shit skyrockets. He was, he was still, uh, he was still releasing still relevant. shit. Yeah, I think uh, it was the baby shit. Was that No Ceilings? Is that around that time? No, because he was still no killing it for like five he, years after that. Yeah, he was still trying to do the Carter, and I remember them blocking him. He's like, "It's done, it's done." The Carter Five, right? Right. And then uh, who was it? Young Thug that came yeah. in and was that's right, and yep. he did, <laughs> and he did the Barter <laughs> Five. Yeah. <laughs> like they were pushing they were pushing young thug over him and all that yeah i think all like it, i think people just came in and stepped in when he was away you know they filled yeah. all the voids that he was you know he like that he, that he left. left yeah who's moving more tickets migos or wayne migos migos yeah there's yeah. three of them <laughs> there's three of them <laughs> It's just physically they're selling more tickets. <laughs> He's just outnumbered. He's outnumbered. There's three He's guys outnumbered. selling tickets versus That's all one guy. The three guys are selling them. It's a Listen. street team. Listen, <laughs> when, when when one of them is doing sound check, takeoff is out there selling tickets. He's on the street okay? scalping his own show. You know, so offset is out there doing something too. <laughs> There's three all of right. them. <laughs> Next topic. Uh, <laughs> congratulations to Lupe Food and Liquor has hey. bought gold after finally years. Finally, that's so crazy. Finally, that's what ha- that's what happens when <laughs> because his second album went went like platinum, right? Multi platinum because yeah. the record label went 
ham behind it. All right. All right. Just a wax song. Oh, wax right. album. Uh, yeah. The Modest Mouse. Yeah. yeah. Did it? Did it go platinum? The second album? Yeah, God. There was, was a machine the cool? behind that Is that, that what album. that was? The cool? Yeah, there was a machine. There was a big machine behind that album. Yeah. That's sick. Damn, I can't believe Food and Liquor took like that long. Kick Push was on Food and Liquor. Kick Push was on that. Tokyo, Paris on that one. You would one. think that like that album would go fucking bonkers. And it just Dreaming. went gold. Daydream was on that one. The issue, yeah. the issue is, is that everyone had a bootleg copy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone downloaded yeah. it. Everyone had it on their iPod. And I no- bought that from somebody on the street. Like <laughs> You're part of the problem. Like, I am. I am. <laughs> You got to go out and buy the box set now to make up for that. Because I oh, you want to show up? He's gonna show. Up. You got it. You want me to grab it? I'll grab yeah, it. Yeah, grab it. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. Did Nick it come the with a skateboard? Why. Say what? Did it come with a skateboard? It probably did, right? <laughs> skateboard lessons. Yeah. Nick is the reason why this, this first this album went gold. <laughs> Second push. <laughs> <laughs> Just ah, Luke nice. comes to your house and tells you to skate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all, while shouting out. Uh, Lupe Fiasco. I'd also like to shout myself out because this is actually uh, the out the copy that turned him gold. Yes. Uh, it was it was my responsibility. <laughs> yeah, you did it. You carried my it. doing. So you you're me. welcome, Lupe Fiasco. Thank you for the album. You're welcome for the plaque. Yeah, you did it, Deke. You did it. What was that? Eighty bucks? Is that how much it got on there? Yeah. Yeah. You think it took? Oh yeah, that no. You long. definitely pushed him over. You think it took that long because it was like the two singles that carried the whole album. Like it took I, those yeah, two singles. I, I like think what? that in I in a I million think, plays. Yeah. Or how many how many uh how many plays now is it is a billion? Yeah, you gotta have now? like a billion to go platinum on a song. It's also regional rap though, too. Like yeah. huge in the Midwest. Yeah, huge in the skateboard community here in Kick Push, whatever. Huge in the college East, scene. Yeah, but East Coast, down yeah. south, people are like, who? You know, like, dude, yeah. Jay Z is on this. Pressure. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's try with Jay. Jill Scott, daydreaming. Mm-hmm, daydreaming. That's, that's a, a banger. God. Oh my god. I got gotcha. you. Remember, I got. Yeah. Who, who, who produced that? This? Was that a? Uh... Jay Z, Chill, is and it... Lupe are the executive producers. Who produced the uh, daydream record? Wasn't it a uh, Jazzy Jeff? No. Oh, that'd be sick. I know he did. He did a lot of Jill Scott stuff. That's yeah, sure. Neek. Fire. Neek, number yeah. crunch that. Yeah, I'm about to number crunch uh, the producers on that. I was going to look through the fucking notes, but Google's check. master. <laughs> Back in the day, huh? <laughs> yeah. What a throwback. Like, let me check at the, What's on your <laughs> yeah, the yeah, sleeve yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, Daydream, right? Yeah, daydreaming. Probably wasn't him. But I know he was doing a lot, Jill Scott. Did that song take off? I feel like that song never took off. It didn't take off. But the video, video fire as fuck. Did, did, like, Craig Coleman. I, I don't know who that is. Oh, Craig? Yeah, Craig <laughs> Coleman. Good old Craig. Remember Craig Coleman? They tried, they tried to push that song pretty hard, though, because they were pushing that video pretty pretty hard. They put a lot of money into that video. There was a budget. Yeah. There was definitely a budget. Um, 15 years is way too long. Yeah, it just you know it fell it fell in a weird time though, right? It fell right in between the physical and streaming time. So, so was this his first album? This his, That's his first album. His well, first one, I don't know. His second one went platinum. Yeah, yeah. His se- his second one was the one with uh, Warner. He signed with Warner. And well, he did. The, he did uh, Kick Push, and then he had the Kanye uh, feature, right? Uh, it was on Kanye's up. album, or was it the Kanye he's on, feature? He was on Touch the Sky. Touch yeah. the Sky, and then he he did he released Kick Push. Yeah, yeah. So this is Food and Liquor is his first album. Mm-hmm. Wasn't he in like a Child Rebel Soldiers with the yes Pharrell him yes. and Kanye? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then that never that never took did off. Anything. <laughs> There's another one that never took off because they that, they that did Kanye the tra- they did one song right didn't they they did um everyone knows. Uh, yeah, that song was sick. He did they that. Sara, too. They did two songs, right? Yeah, Sara. They did the was... remix to the uh, NERD track, and then they might have done one oh, other yeah. song. Um, yeah, everybody knows. And um, 
Oh yeah, a song off of the um good music releases. Good Friday, sorry. Good Friday releases. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, now now we're all number crunching. I'm looking at the cool now. I'm trying to see like oh, what was that song called? Off that good good Friday releases. Shout out uh, um, Us my- Placers. Us Placers, yes, yeah. yes. Us yeah. Placers, yeah. Um, Ran- yo, randomly got, got a request from that from, <laughs> from a chick that I had no clue would even listen the to. The lady this. that asked me for Post Malone? Same same chick. Probably. It was probably so her. Stop playing Drake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was probably her. Because you got to play. Stop playing Drake. Play, try, try this. Video. Play <laughs> Us Placers. Play Us Placers. She said, like, here, here burn this CD. Try this. It's a burnt CD. Yeah. <laughs> Go What's, your track burn eight. Speed? What's your burn speed on this CD drive here? It's Memorex <laughs> right here. <laughs> that looks like a little vinyl. <laughs> Just CO2 going off in my face and I'm burning the CD in the club. <laughs> <laughs> it flies away. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll get it. Fighting through the crowd. Great, great. <laughs> So, no, his his his, his second Brandon album, Steve. The Cool, only went gold. Also, The Cool only went gold. Yeah, interesting. He's been touring that in full, so he just played that at Riot Fest uh, last week in full, front to back. A couple years ago, he did Food and Liquor front to back. Mm. Yeah, I had a tweet. It was uh, you either stay relevant or. <laughs> Stick around long enough to put be put on a nostalgia lineup. <laughs> yeah, That's what it feels real. like, man. It's like yeah. you forget about these people. Like, oh yeah, 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 Cisco. Oh hell yeah, he's gonna do the whole album. I don't know about that though. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna do thong song. All right, cool. I'll go. <laughs> he's gonna do all of Enter the Dragon or Return of the yeah, Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> or unleash the dragon that's what it was it's we had the same exact conversation the other yeah. day off air we we're trying to figure out the name of the album that we just started naming Bruce I had Lee that album movies too. oh yeah i had I all those lie. albums remember uh when they used to send you those uh packs that you could choose like 12 cds oh you know, yeah uh what was like the columbia columbia Pressing house columbia house columbia house yeah yeah and then you just oh, cancel sick. it the next day that's I just how had- i got all my albums boxes showing up to the crib my parents were like uh colin you have some mail and i was like what this worked (laughs) (laughs) just like check pay later as big as someone could like yeah sure (laughs) and like if you didn't pay later it was like you got a bill for like 50 dollars for a cd and you're like uh this this isn't great i don't love this (laughs) so mom <laughs> I think that's you how- know that Cisco yeah. CD that you didn't you like. That Cisco CD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fifty bucks. Columbia is gonna fucking take us into collection. <laughs> you know how Columbia is. You know the drugs. <laughs> I was yeah. buying everything. I was like three copies of Godzilla. Who wants one? Fuck it. Like you get a soundtrack. You get a soundtrack. Wait a minute. That that uh the soundtrack with Puffy on it. Puffy and, and, and uh, Jamiroquai. Jimmy, and Jimmy Page. And, 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 and. Yeah. <laughs> Jamiroquai was on there too. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I only know that because Colin got me the 45 and I was like, oh, this is on the Godzilla soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> the banger. <laughs> hey, that movie was terrible. Just wanted to put that out there. Say, like, hey, play this. It's <laughs> 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 a fucking soundtrack. Hey, could you play, uh, come with me from Puff Daddy and Jimmy Page? <laughs> Got you. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. It's my friend's birthday. She wants to hear it. <laughs> we're, about, we're about to leave. We need to walk out to it. <laughs> yeah, that table over there just ordered a $20,000 package. They want to hear Puff Daddy and Jimmy Page come with me. Jesus. Uh, next topic for discussion gentlemen Uh, there was a tweet fired out that said Normani would be down for a Lady Marmalade remake with Ariana Grande Megan Thee Stallion and Dua Lipa that sounds about right that sounds about right that's the only ones that could do it I'd say so that's the only ones that could do it 
I mean, if they're going to do it, but like, do we have like, to? Hell do yeah. I'm surprised that Cardi B's not in there, though. But yeah. Yeah. That's the only ones that could do it. <laughs> I love that there's one person that can sing. Oh, well, yeah. That was kind of what was in the other one, right? Oh, no. Norm- there was no, Normani could sing. Maya. Kind of there was uh, uh, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera. Pink. Pink can sing. Pink, Pink can off. sing. Oh, so there's only one rapper. Uh, there was Lil' Kim. And yeah. was there Missy? Or am I thinking about no, no, not we, tonight? We, <laughs> right? Yeah, like, that's the same thing. Not tonight. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, just uh, everybody from the 2000s in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like, was Yo Yo in it? <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to hear that song, though. I don't think anybody wants to hear. Lady yeah, it, nobody, they, nobody. They asked would have to song. make the movie again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nobody wants to see the movie again. So nobody wants to see Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman swinging around. That's that's where we're at with the pandemic. People come out from like being locked inside for a year and they're like, I don't know, you want to remix Lady Marmalade? Like, re- yes! Like, recasting. Finally, someone <laughs> asked me what I am like, <laughs> This is why I started, this is why I got into music. You read my mind. <laughs> Like Chris Brown, you like Return of the Mac. You want to flip that? Yeah, sure. All right, let's just he, flip all '90s songs. He did it. And he flipped that one. That's kind of what's happening now, right? Is that's, just everybody's flipping '90s yeah. and early yeah, Well, that's what that's what Hitmaker is doing. Even yeah. even House. We're all we're all yeah. digging into mm-hmm. the uh, the R and B vocals. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was just gonna say uh, luxury on Instagram. He just made a post about this because there's like a new legality that uh, is allowing for interpolation. So the original artist gets paid and you get paid for oh. not necessarily sampling, but doing an interpolation. Like you can do a cover essentially like that beach house version of whatever of, you know, wham song wham's getting paid. And so are you like, it's totally okay. Oh. Yeah. So now that's why this resurgence, like everybody's like, yo, make it sound like this, like these hit songs in the nineties, like, Make it sound like these hit songs, and because now we're all fucking in our thirties, and we're the main consumers. Like we, we, moms and dads, we're the Starbucks and Target people. You know, is right. that because of blurred lines? That lawsuit is that what came from that? Mm-hmm. That's Where? a that's kind of like started it because like there was a thing of like, can you own like uh, the idea a, a of a feeling, song, like right. a feeling? Right, you can't right, own right, a right. feeling. And that's kind of where interpolation comes from, like. You, right. It, but the Marvin Gaye estate won that, and yeah. so um, now I think the laws have changed uh, in like because of that case, uh-huh. because you can't fucking have estates suing you for interpolation, like for the same feeling that a, song, right. a melody gives you. Is Robin Thicke still making music? He fin- that- that's what I was about to say. He finally came out with a single like three weeks ago. Last time I saw Robin Thicke, he had that Beetlejuice suit on. <laughs> uh, Miley yeah. Cyrus getting his fucking jump. Well, Miley Cyrus was she gave him the old him. reach around. <laughs> 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 Went from she under the grundle. <laughs> under the grundle. While he's, sing, Taint. while he's singing Marvin Gaye. Yeah, his girl was looking at him like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I, I, like, I thought it was a Yo, this one was not my fault. You know, know Miley's funny. out here wilding. <laughs> You know, I don't even know who got these they, skinny jeans. They had, they had a, they were supposedly had a open, open marriage, open relationship. <laughs> and Miley Cyrus probably, out and here just and he's still fucked up. He's still fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's like funny. it was open, but that was in private, motherfucker. Not on whatever award show this is. <laughs> yeah. What is Miley nineteen, motherfucker? <laughs> There's two ways of looking at that. Like a single guy will look at that and be like, "Yo, I got my junk grab. That's not me." But a guy in a relationship will be like, man, I'm in deep shit. (laughs) I'm so fucked. Like anyone, anything like, oh, man, I'm in trouble. (laughs) Good for Robin Thicke, though. I think he got in trouble for some other shit before that. Like he's he's out there. He stays in trouble. Yeah, he's out there. Yeah, he's a he's a Hollywood kid, though. He's a Hollywood kid. Moving on. uh, Segway Kings. Segway Kangs. This is a gas station in Houston that is making burritos with lean sauce. Lean elotes, lean burritos. Oh, shit. I saw that. Wet ass burritos. 
Look at that. <laughs> bomb. <laughs> it's just purple. Oh, shit. It's just purple. Purple sauce. Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not okay. Were they struggling before? <laughs> and they're like, you know what? We got to market to we got a market the to lean the crowd. <laughs> the lean crowd. These guys. They Double love cup tacos. It up. And they, it yeah, they, they love burritos. Twenty dollars each. It's in a gas station. I mean, it's the era of the IG influencer kind of post. Mm-hmm. Would you guys eat that? Yes. What is it? I don't know. Was it like a salsa or is it like a? I don't know either. I remember like the old school, like purple ketchup, like that kind of the green, yeah, yeah, the purple and green. Yeah, like oh, that shit was weird, bro. That fucking. But they bring that back. They bring that back, and you get a, you get a drink of Zima too. (laughs) I got the chills thinking about the green ketchup. I don't know why, but like we got it, and as a kid, I was like, hell yeah, this is sick. (laughs) And then we, I was like, yo, can we get the red one? I don't. I don't know. This is making me feel weird. <laughs> like, <it's> just, <laughs> we, I can't have green ketchup. This shit is weird. You know what didn't taste right was the clear Pepsi. That, sh- that shit did not taste right. No. Or the blue one. The blue one oh. was gross, too. Oh. Have you ever seen the video of the guy that drank, like, a uh, old uh, clear Pepsi? No. Like, oh, all right. Here we go. I'm going to try it. It's a... F- like however long it's been like 20 like years 20 it's like years. Psh, cracks it open it's still crispy still crispy all right and then he like drinks it and he starts throwing up like instantly oh he's like no no no, <laughs> no it's not right no, it's not right <laughs> well shit <laughs> we're, we're not here because it was a good idea <laughs> yeah shit that's fucking gross oh man I don't think I can fuck with that. Neek, I want to pass to you as our Segway King for the gas station food. Yeah. yeah. So um, speaking of fucking trash food, <laughs> um, lucky you, Wolf, you have been offered the opportunity to be endorsed by your favorite fast food establishment, um, a la Travis Scott and Saweetie. Um what is your meal and where is it? Well, I got to think of like what I would like to eat for free. Right. Like, I mean, what's your go to? Like, if you are a part, if you partake in the fine dining of fast food. <sighs> There's nobody that I would like to give free promo to. But Oh, it's not free. You're getting paid, homie. Mm. Don't you worry. <laughs> well, bring it on in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I like all fast food. It's just trying to pick one would just be like picking the the same thing that I order when I go. Yeah. So what is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went to a uh, McDonald's and they had a uh, forty nugget meal. What? For like fourteen bucks. It was like. 40 nuggets, four fries, and a drink, I think. So I just, I think that's so ridiculous that I want that to be my meal. Uh, What's like 40 nuggets? I'm sick of this guy, Teen Wolf. (laughs) (laughs) Like all the people that eat like on YouTube and shit, and they're like, 40 nuggets? What the fuck are we doing here? (laughs) Four fries? So Weedy gave us like a like four nuggets. <laughs> this guy's out here with forty. The Sweetie <laughs> meal is so od, like that's absurd. Everybody else who had a meal, like Bad Bunny, was it Bad Bunny or ba- J Balvin? J Balvin, um, Travis. They like they just did like their like how they do their like Big Mac order or whatever. She was like, "Let me get the Big Mac and chicken nuggets." Yeah. It was like, like four that, nuggets, right? It's just the four piece. But like, yo, that's absurd to like have a double patty Big Mac or a double quarter pound or whatever she got, a large fry or a medium fry, and then fucking four nuggets to boot and the sweetie sauce. The sweet Wait sauce, till you man. hear the teen wolf. The sweetie and sour. <laughs> Wait till you get 40 nuggets. Yeah, so shout out to and fucking... Four, and four medium French fries. 
<laughs> yeah, and four medium French fries. <laughs> like, fuck, man. My this whole is family. Absurd. And then I, I think it would become viral because it's like, you know, can you like, oh, shit. Roll? Yeah, let's do the challenge, bro. 40 nuggets. Can you do it? What's the four sauce choice? Ranch and the uh, spicy buffalo. I love that shit. Oh, spicy yeah. buffalo is fire. I was going to say, make it a melody. Get all of them. Get one of each. <laughs> <laughs> Lean sauce? How did this get in here? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the lean sauce is. I think it's fucked up. All right, who I went to the gas station? <laughs> Goddamn gas station. I think that's a terrible fucking, like, it's kind of sleazy, right? Because that's like a drug problem that's happening out there. Yeah. like The they, heroin taco. They must, be, <laughs> they must be, like, located at some at the gas station where they always are selling like all the ingredients to lean except for like the codeine obviously yeah <laughs> so they're just like fuck it we'll make a fucking burrito and throw purple sauce on it yeah this guy's making a killing out front off of those purple cups we're just gonna fuck it <laughs> god uh i don't even know if we should get into the next one android on facetime <laughs> <laughs> you know what <laughs> Teen Wolf has left the chat. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why, Travis? Go ahead. I want to hear it. It's just not right. <laughs> I don't know if we're like elitist being we iPhone are. users. We definitely are. But you like, I've been in like a fucking group chat. Sorry to interrupt. No, please. See, that's and what I'm. Yeah. I'm in a group chat. It says like my, my sister, me, my girl, and then her husband. And he's got an Android and it's this gigantic phone. And every time he sends a video, it's like the tiniest little thing. You try and click it. It's like, what, what are you sending this from a potato? (laughs) Walk over to me and show me. This is ridiculous. I feel like a dinosaur. (laughs) What is this? What the fuck am I looking at? Record this on a Motorola razor. (laughs) You got that big ass phone. All you, all they do these Android users. Shout out to all our Android listeners. No, um, I am not. Sh- no, take it back. <laughs> all they fucking <laughs> all they talk about is how their cameras are better than ours. And they're not. But I have yet to see any footage <laughs> that it doesn't look like a fucking n- Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> Can we show you on the phone? Yes. If you're like, hey, look at this playback of this video I just took. Yes. You can't see anything. <laughs> It's like donuts. If it's like <laughs> five seconds later, that it doesn't taste the same. It doesn't look the same. You have an Android? Yeah. Oh, what? You have an Android? I have, a, I have an iPhone. Oh, I thought you said us Android users. No, like, no, no. Oh. You're saying if you see their video like on their device. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then Beautiful. when you when they upload something, you're like, yo, this is. I don't want to FaceTime that. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Honestly, I, I miss the days when Instagram was just ours. It was just for iPhone users. And once they once they let there went the neighborhood. Like as soon as they let the Android people in, I forgot. It all went to shit. When Facebook was for college people. Yeah. Before it turned into Baghdad. Before it turned into Baghdad, yeah. (laughs) Footage from Baghdad. Where are you? Body Henderson. Yeah, I mean Henderson. (laughs) Looks fucking awful. (laughs) It's fucked up. (laughs) It's not fun, bro. It's get leave let get make instagram and facetime for them like why don't they have their own shit yeah why are they getting in on our instagram (laughs) if facebook just stayed for college people i don't even know what people would talk about it just really fucking sophisticated conversations where would i get all my doctor (laughs) (laughs) where would all my doctor friends be now where would i get all of my medical information (laughs) I would have no idea what's happening. In I'd the have world. to go back to WebMD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to ask Jeeves. I think there should be a new Facebook, something like that, where it's like, all right, cool. You have no to answer all. a couple com. questions. The, uh, the OG, it's like a Facebook group, but it's the OG Facebook where it's just you rating like girls. Uh, <laughs> you're, just, yeah. you're just giving a rating, <laughs> like the original Facebook. <laughs> What was it called? Rating. Face face smash or some shit. Like that. It was Facebook. You're just rating f- pictures, <laughs> like just rating people's feet. thumbs up or down. 
and just oh, Tinder people's walls. Yeah, it's just Tinder's, but it doesn't go anywhere. Like you don't connect with anyone. You, just, <laughs> you don't have to holler at anybody. Make, you know, you just make an opinion and move on. <laughs> it's like nah, <laughs> no, and that's it. And they know it instantly. And they know it because you're like, like, yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> then nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. <laughs> I guess that's it for me, y'all. <laughs> yeah. You're like, do you talk to that person? No, you don't. Nothing happens. <laughs> it's like that that show next. Do you ever watch that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like those people that barely walked off the bus. You're like, next. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Intro was longer than the, them walking out. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna win this whole thing and I'm gonna make her my girlfriend. He gets down and he's like, next. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then they give the post interview and they're like, hey man, she fucked like <laughs> had something terrible to say. I would have like, nexted myself. <laughs> I would have nexted her too. I guess I guess you'll never know what she like just it is what a toxic time. <laughs> toxic. That was that was the Tinder in yes. real life. Yeah, yo, straight like up next. real life Tinder. Like, swipe left. Absolutely not. I it's just like the, there's no other excuse. You're I just if ugly. The Tinder's creators were like really big fans of that show. Yo, like, remember Room Raiders? Man, <laughs> we're gonna bust go it out the UV the light shit in your bedroom and then the make UV it. light. Yo, that's crazy that that was a thing. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that that place lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm pretty sure that's where that saying came. How'd you get on the roof? Yeah, how'd you get on the roof? Crazy story, though. <laughs> I'm trying pick to remember. Me and you'll find out. Yeah, pick me and you'll find out. You know. <laughs> 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 there was that other show. Oh my god. Um, I'm trying to remember it because I, I I went on like a Soul Train, like a 2000s 90s Soul Train. Uh, binge the other night and i found i forgot about this other show because i was in late at night it was soul train and then you would get um cheaters joey then, greco yeah yes and Everybody then we got stabbed yeah oh yeah and then the other show and it was like um bet uncut no that's a different channel but <laughs> tip drill <laughs> tip drill shout out to tip drill yeah, um tip, tip drill change my fucking life <laughs> I was like, but it was a uh, oh this? my god so you and your partner would go on this show and it was kind of like a like a late night sit setting like you're sitting on a couch and there's the host of the show and he's interviewing you guys and it starts off all nice you know we we met each other we love each other uh what don't you like about this person well she's really naggy and she's violent and jealous and she and then he's like and she's talking about him and how he's jealous and controlling and so they set them up to go on dates with other people. They set them up for blind dates with other people. Um, and then their dates come out and sit with them. And then they talk <laughs> about their date in front of their partner. And, oh, and then I remember the name. This show is called Change of Heart. And oh, yes, then the other yes, person yes. comes in and they talk about. And then afterwards, they have to decide individually, not at the same time, not a one, two, three, go. You go first. Is that Jim well, McCarthy? No, that no, was, no, no. Uh, singled out. Singled, singled out. out. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. And then you have. So the guy usually goes first and he's like, well, I had a great time with this girl and she was fantastic. And, you know, my girl, she's a little wild. She's a little crazy. So I think I'm going to have a change of heart. And mm -hmm. now you're going to date the new girl or you're like, I think I'm going to make it work. And then but then Shorty has to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, now, hey, you gotta move out though yeah and so like worst case scenario you're like i'm gonna stick it out and she's like i had a change of heart yeah now you're sitting here with your fucking <laughs> you're still with the car looking, up. holding the card like i wanted to stay and she's like leaving with the nude cat i'd be like psych and then and now, <laughs> yeah, and now both girls are quick. like this loser like giving you the thumbs down <laughs> Here's the here's the thing. They they have like uh I think it's like Love Island or something like that, like an Australian uh show of something similar to that. But these people are dating, and now at the end, you're gonna flip the card and be like, I want to stay with them or I don't want to stay with them. And on this show, if it's not mutually in agreement, you have to stay with them, even though they don't want to be with you. 
that's what they that's what they tell them they're like you're still together it's by not law. two yeses it's not two no's he said by law <laughs> by law is it legal? So by, by law, by law. TV, you gotta stay together forever it's like damn it i didn't want this i think i saw the one where it's like uh you were with somebody and then you had to go stay in a suite with your ex do you guys see that one? Oh, i've seen that i've seen that yeah it's bad. Oh my <laughs> god. These are life destroying shows. Like, you oh, you have a happy these- life? Cool. Yeah. Come, Come on, on over. Yeah. You can only do these type of shows if you're like 22. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because nothing matters then. Like, then you could go, you're just doing your thing. Yeah. These people show up and they're like, okay, cool. It's a, here's a stocked bar. Here's a one bedroom, one bed suite. And you have 24 hours with your ex. And then we're going to show your current person who you're you with, how, how you're with. Yeah, you sit on that side of the fucking room. <laughs> I'm going to sit over here. We can share the, the bar. That's it. <laughs> I'll see you later. Don't talk to me. <laughs> it's the most boring show ever. They shouldn't no. tell you which ex it is, though. Well, they're probably not telling you that they're going to show your partner. They're like, look, we're gonna we're gonna set you up with your ex. They don't they don't tell them that their ex. I think it was like so new in the show that they didn't tell them you're spending 24 hours with your ex. Oh my god! It's like the new one that they have on Netflix. Have you guys seen uh, Too Hot to Handle? Yeah, where they have like all these fine ass people, and then like they're like, oh yeah, you can't have sex. Yeah, but like for the first like six hours, they like think that they're on just like a go for it show like Get, a sex like, island yeah. show <laughs> and then they're like psych you can't even kiss or hold hands and shit and then yeah. all these people are like what what am i supposed to do they're like their mind is blown that they can't have sex for like i think a month <laughs> there was an episode where the guy was like got the other guys to like stand outside of the bathroom he's like look i just gotta jerk one off real quick guys just watch out and like the other guys stood guard and they're like all right fuck it <laughs> I'm and, they, and they lost ten thousand dollars for that shit because you, you there's a pot of a hundred thousand and anytime like they make an offense they like keep ej- like taking off uh money yeah <laughs> and like this guy had to rub one out for like 10 g's i would have been pissed off <laughs> like bro you couldn't you couldn't fucking hold it it's like Kicking wait till the day after i do the shower <laughs> you're like yo you're not doing this Dude. hey speaking of being in front of a camera Team Wolf, we are making our DJ biopic cinematic universe. And in this DJ biopic cinematic universe, who is playing Teen Wolf? Could be an actor, dead or alive. Any entertainer, actually, dead or alive. Could be a cartoon character. It could even be Lisa Teen Simpson. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because you <laughs> but, uh, Go on, Oscar Isaac. From uh, from the Star Wars saga and uh, new upcoming, he's, show yeah, he's gonna be Moonlight, Moonlight. right? And he's Guatemalan. I gotta stick with my Guatemalans. So, and he's he's a good looking cat. So yeah, he's gonna Wrong do great. Pick. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna make me look good. Ca- I just people are gonna be disappointed. Counter. What was he that? Just I just watched the card counter. That's with him too, right? Yeah, that's with him. It's like um. It's like take Rain Man and Ben Affleck's the accountant and uh, what's that Brad American Sniper? Put that all together. That he was rad. That's what you got. I hate Ben That's Affleck. The power counter. You hate. He was ben- good in the count. It. Ben Affleck. The count it was good. Wait, 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 wait. Ben Affleck is one of the good guys, right? He's getting, he's got the redemption. Oh, yeah. He's out here smoking cigarettes, just trying it's, to relax. J Lo, because J Lo blessed him again. He's living his best life. Whoever J Lo mm-hmm. touches, town was good too. There's the gold. I'm and, not a uh, fan. Live by night. Oh, uh, live by night. Yeah. I, I, I'm live not a fan of Ben Affleck. Movie. I think he's a really bad actor. Ben Affleck was the best. Dogma. Person. I mean, that's the same guy in every movie. All these movies, it's it's just Ben Affleck. 
Nah. That's just Ben Affleck like, as a person. The accountant, he was, uh, a, he was a t- autistic. Yeah, yeah, autistic. That's probably the only acting he's ever done in his life. Wait, Days um, and Confused. Come on. That. Yo, Daredevil. Oh. Days and Confused, too. He was yeah, blind. <laughs> he was just yeah, he blind. Was blind. He was just ben Affleck, you can't see. He's the same guy. No, he was blind. Yeah, it's just him with his eyes closed. Same guy. Yeah, he's blind. With ben Affleck with sunglasses on. There's a difference. It's just it's the same guy. He does not <laughs> he needed, act. He, he needed a stick no to walk rain. around. They, no they boring. Said, it says in the script, we need a Ben Affleck type. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, got you. Got it. Let me get into role. Let me get into it. Hey, so uh, in- Gone Girl was great. Gone Girl, Gone Girl was incredible. Was the only movie that I liked of his. Oh, you didn't like Geely? <laughs> <laughs> Meek, you like what was that. what was Geely like and uh, what was the movie that came after it? That Jersey everybody, Girl, right? Jersey Girl. Jersey they all Girl. thought it was a they all thought it was a sequel, <laughs> but it was just a different <laughs> movie. <laughs> not great, not great. Everybody thought Geely was <laughs> got, that Jersey Girl was a sequel. <laughs> that makes sense. But it wasn't. It was that just, Amy was good too. Chasing, Chasing Amy. Amy is great. <laughs> uh, Clerks. Look, you dude. He, ben Affleck sucks. I'm sorry. Like Bad. Batflex was trash, but but would you be able to delete him from the movie universe? No. If you're say, you're saying all right, no. he's not a good actor, but would you remove him? No. Nope. No. Right. You need, Argo. I mean, you need Argo. Replace him. Anything he's in, he's out. The word is out. Basically. Who are you put in? Ben Affleck, all Ben Affleck's <laughs> movies are out. Say what? Who would so, you put in it, Leo? Yeah, I'd put Leo for sure. <laughs> Leo. We all know I'm a Brad guy, so I'm putting Brad in everything. Brad man. Brad's my guy. Brad Pitt plays the same same yeah, person in man, every movie you too. That. You no. can't he's literally do that. like he's literally the Ben Affleck of Brad Pitt. Yeah, of Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't don't disrespect Brad. <laughs> you not disrespect Brad by calling listen. him. Listen, the Brad's, ben char- so Brad Brad's character in <laughs> Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is the it's same character that he played in Troy movie. and Ocean's Eleven. Wait, and Fight Club. Eleven. That's some bullshit. We have to, and we have Fight to, Club. Same one. We have and to seven. Imagine, we have to imagine this scenario. Brad Pitt is no longer on stage with Frank Ocean. It's now Ben Affleck. <laughs> that changes things. He just has to be on the phone. That changes things. This time things. he's smoking. Yeah. That changes things. I I, I might <laughs> reconsider my opinion, but no, it didn't happen. You can't convince me that Ben Affleck listens to Frank Ocean. You can't. You couldn't convince me, bro. You can't. No, not a fucking chance. Brad, yeah. sure. Ben, no way. No. Leo, Brad's- most likely. For sure. Oh, I yeah. can see it. Yeah. yeah. Brad listens to like flogging Molly still. Shout out. I mean, not Brad. Uh, ben. Ben, <laughs> like ben. To ben no. listens to Flogging Molly. Ben still, ben flogging still listens outside to of Saint, out of St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, he's like, that's it. No, ben, ben, st- ben still listens to Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah. This is On the Six by J-Lo. He's like, yeah. yeah. And repeat, sure. Ben still listens to Puff Daddy and Jimmy Page come he's with me. <laughs> he's like, you used to date this guy? Yeah, <laughs> so sick. Big fan, big fan, <laughs> big fan. The soundtrack ripped. I should probably make a call to Ben and tell him not to come on the show next week. I need Ben on the show. I need to talk Batman. Yeah, this is who cares. Screw I him. do. Best Bruce if, Wayne. If you were to put your dream, your dream it. Bruce Wayne, who, who would it be? That's your favorite Bruce Wayne? No, it's not. Ben Travis. Affleck, Batfleck is that your is. favorite? I said it. I said Travis it. is doing that for shock value. Yeah, 100%. That's it. just a hot take. You're that, just being a contrarian, bro. That's Bruce Wayne on screen. Get out of here. That's wear the, wear, make a t-shirt of it. I will. Yeah. Make three no. of them and wear it three times a week. You're going to get chased home. I have, I have yet to see the, the Bruce Wayne that I wanted to see on, on film. Yeah, we still never have gotten it. I need the detective that, like... Is fucking twelve steps ahead of everybody. Yeah, I think we're finally gonna get him. I don't think he's gonna be twelve <laughs> steps not. ahead of everybody. Though. The fucking well, he's this, young. I, I think by the I, second I, Robert I feel, Pattinson is the shit, bro. Hey, maybe we won't even get Bruce Wayne. Maybe like they're gonna like left field us and like we're gonna make him like fucking Batman Damian. Beyond. 
Oh shit, that'd be no. He's Bruce. They call him Bruce because right? Michael Keaton's coming back. No. Yeah, but that's coming back from the for from the Flashpoint. That, uh, DC the Flashpoint. Yeah, that's some other universe. shit. That that's the that's and the, he's uh, not gonna play Bruce Wayne. That's Ben shit. That's that Ben shit. That's that Ben shit. That's that Spider Verse shit. Ben. That shit. It's not even. It sucked. It's bad. It's just they, bad. Not. At this point, they should have just Snyder, done. Snyder cut. Snyder cut is so far. It's superior. better, but it's still bad. It's not. It is so good, man. Yo, you put you put in it in a in a different format screen. What kind of screen are you watching it on? Let me just put it I that got, way. Are you kidding me? You've been to my crib. It's got hey, androids. Man. You've been hey, to the crib. You so know what's you going know on them. over here. You should know. It still sucked. Bigger. It does. It's bigger. It, it sucks. does. It's so much better. So I think the fact better. that you have it like the the was it Whedon cut burnt into your skull that you can't get over the. Uh, yeah, man, he fucked that. I'm, I'm saying I believe that it's so a better bad. flick for sure. Um, I, when it when the when it started, I was really excited. I was off as soon as I saw Ben Affleck, and then it kind of built me up like. You know, he's going to be an older Bruce, yada, yada, ye. Like, this is an age, tired Bruce Wayne. I'm like, okay, I can see it. I can see it. I'm with it. He's big, stocky. We finally got the big, burly Bruce Wayne. we never seen that, but he's just fucking boring. He's a boring-ass dude. He has no range. He's... You don't need him to have range. Still better than Clooney, though. Wayne. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Clooney is still the worst. Better than Val Kilmer, too. I totally forgot he was even a Batman. Exactly. <laughs> Try to fight me on that one. I can't. I won't fight you on that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going Val over Ben, but you know. how we got really? Here, I'm yeah. Ben is just oh boring, bro. God, I'm Neek. like, it's like watching a rock with ears. Neek. It's boring. Neek. Rock with ears. This well, is they a rock with they, a cape on. They also didn't give him a chance. You know, if he the got his own standalone the movie. Snyder, the Snyder Cut, dude. I mean, fuck that. He was in two fucking four-hour-long movies. and Yo, but, but it wasn't... He felt like he was barely in it. It wasn't Batman. It wasn't Batman. Wasn't he supposed to direct it, too? Yes. Yeah, and it was supposed to be, like... It was supposed to be a take on the raid. It would have been great. I, I just... He's just not the guy for the job. He is the guy for the job. That's then who is? The That's why he got it. Can't say Patterson is. I'm sold on Patterson already. Really? Let you have that yeah. One, I'm I'm sold on Patterson. And I'm honestly I'll put I haven't seen one scene of him, so I'd have to see one watch scene. the two trailers. You're, you're gonna love he's, it. You're gonna watch it and be like, boom. Have you seen any of his movies? Does he speak in, it? in the in yeah. the trailers? No, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he just says, I am vengeance. I think in the in the in the new trailer he talks. Now I gotta double check because you guys are making me nervous. So I don't wanna like, I feel like he, he didn't talking it i mean like there's like just you know that, he beats the shit out of a bunch how of dudes this, how does this involve me <laughs> i am vengeance Mr. Ba he beat the shit out of that dude and twilight twilight is the i hate it i twilight. am the night. they just keep going so dark with it and i feel uh, like they could they could go dark you, but light and like light the mood a little bit yeah Listen, are we watching titans no i'm not watching nah. Titans. Come on, y'all. Suicide Squad, though. See. The second, the new one. James Gunn, do you guys like it? I liked it. It was cool. It was cool. I liked it. I, I I liked it. I liked it more than I liked the last one. I didn't hate it. Didn't love it, but I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. And I like and I like the I like the previews for uh, Peacemaker. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen the previews for Peacemaker yeah. yet. Oh, that's good. I have no opinion. Hold on, what you got? I have no opinion. Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> I mean, I can talk, I can talk Candyman. <laughs> I can still talk Candyman. Like I still haven't movie. seen Candyman. That yeah, phone in movie. This is the third week in a row. Candyman's been brought up, and Travis has been really upset about it. Super upset about it. It's not that bad. <laughs> but you dug it. My, uh, I, my, my sister it. and uh, her husband really like, like horror flicks and stuff like that, and they said they liked it. Mm -hmm. I'm not a horror guy. Travis. I feel like I used to be a horror guy, and then one like I don't know once at some point I was just like, damn, horror movies are just always happen to be really bad movies, and uh, it it it's a rare occurrence when a horror flick also happens to be a good flick. 
Did you I like would... Quiet Place? Did I like a Quiet Place? Loved Quiet Place. That was a uh, suspense, oh. wasn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, More of like I... suspense. Yeah, yeah. I think if I'll, I'll, I'll I like chuck it in there. I liked it. Or Conjuring. Conjuring is a great horror movie. Conjuring's good. The rest of them it. sucked, but Conjuring. Conjuring's all right. I do. I will say that, like, when it comes to the genres that are like pushing it, like to new places, it, horror is definitely the the genre that's actually still innovative. Mm-hmm. Like for sure, dance hall is to other genres. Yeah. <laughs> or probably, is the dance hall of movies. We should probably talk some DJ it's stuff. The ben, it's the Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> should yeah, we should talk probably. some DJ stuff. We are people we are, are like, man, uh, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here. Um, we didn't even talk any DJ shit this episode. Holy <laughs> fuck. Um, Mr. Teen Wolf, uh, tell us about your Twitch. You've been rocking on Twitch for what a year now yeah yeah since uh pandemic launched since they launched the pandemic how is the grand opening of pandemic i was uh on twitch yes how do you you (laughs) like djing on twitch i like it i mean no one's telling me what to play no one's telling me you know make it well i mean here and there you get a request and whatnot but it's not it's Mm. nothing you have to take serious anyways but i I love the freedom going back to it Going back to Twitch? Yeah. Uh, some people are making a comeback, but yeah. I don't know that the crowd is as big as it was when the pandemic was around, when people were like at home, you know, with nothing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm. The numbers have definitely gone down on that. <clears throat> I'm wondering, because I'm always curious, is it still viable to, like, for the average DJ to make a living off of streaming on Twitch? As long as they don't change the uh, guidelines to, you know, Facebook or Instagram type guidelines where they just cut your stuff off, then yeah, yeah it should be should be good. Hmm. What now? I wanted to ask this since uh, since we found out you were going to be on the show. You play everything. Your residencies, you play a good amount. I would say um, EDM, hip hop other what's your preferred genre if you could only play one genre for the rest of your life uh it's a hard question because it changes you know my uh, favorite genre changes with you know with time like mm-hmm. right now i really love the, like house again you know i've fallen back in love with house and i've been playing house a lot more than all the other genres but uh i don't know i can't can't really say Mm. because i feel like if if you were to pigeonhole yourself then there goes your relevance as a dj Mm -hmm. for sure on your ideal night if you could show up and play a certain genre what would it be like if i was to create a night tonight yep and it would be packed Mm -hmm. and i'd play whatever uh I've been doing like uh, the future beat stuff, which mm. is kind of like the uh, I don't know, just like like the Catronata stuff and mm-hmm. and and Genji and uh, Jules and all those people. Yeah, so like left field beats mm-hmm. and remixes of you know classic songs, chopped and screwed type shit. Has anyone made a whole festival out of that yet? I feel like Selection should like just start a festival or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's that'd be a great idea. Like a Lost Lands, but for future beats. That Lovers and Whatever Fest? Isn't that with Selection? Uh, Lovers and Friends? Oh, is that what it was called? Crazy Lineup? Yeah, and then selections like the main DJ on that, right? I think so. Um, is that here in Vegas? Yeah, I think it's like three days. Ah, dude, now. I don't know that. It's kind of like oh yeah, the lovers and friends. Sorry, that's in yeah November. Yeah, that's happening. Am I the only one that's getting like Firefest vibes? Like this is too good to be true type feelings with this. I yeah. think they they probably launched it as that, 
but then they saw like how much they were selling out and all that and then they started yeah. adding more nights and, and I think selling the those artists, nights out i think the artists got on board too like, okay really got on i feel board behind I, it i feel like if they had fully executed firefest they would have done well a hundred percent like just watching the documentary and like well i mean like here's where you fucked up but yeah just, like, no exactly yeah i mean like you had the funding and you got even more funding you could have put more money into the fucking festival and i was looking at it from like a promoter standpoint you know like well what the fuck like this dude was just spending the cash with <laughs> yeah like That's all right well fucked. there you fucked up bro like you had everything you sold tickets at, <laughs> at the least you would have lost a little money exactly but gone through with it 100 percent. they bring it may, back just made it back if they bring it back now does it sell out again yes 100 percent. yeah 100 percent. and ja rule will be headlining the best thing <laughs> ever. yeah it becomes like the uh what's it called the the juggalos the meeting of the juggalos type thing <laughs> yeah exactly oh the gathering yeah yeah the gathering or the and, and even like the what when everybody was gonna raid uh, area 51 yeah. <laughs> it just becomes that a meme i can't believe that actually happened meme fest they should just call it meme fest that didn't that didn't happen right or did it people were they showed up turned away mm. obviously but like a large group of people showed up what, There's what's like, large though I, I, yeah, I only say this because I saw like a Facebook post the other day and somebody's like, I can't believe this went down. And like, there was like armed guards, like, oh, no shit, the fuck around. That's crazy. Damn. How far is that from Vegas? It's in Arizona, yeah. Or no, it's New Mexico. Uh, New well, that's New Roswell. Roswell. That's Roswell. No, it's, Roswell. it's, it's closer to here than it is. I think it's like just past. I don't know. Let me give it a number. Card. I don't just know where the fuck it is. It's just, it's not here, but it's like not far from here. You know it's that way. <laughs> but it's like, all right, you show up. There's definitely nothing around, or there's like gas stations around selling UFO, alien, whatever. But I got to imagine you just show up and it's just like a checkpoint, guys with assault rifles, and they're like, just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, they don't even let you get close. Yeah. yeah. There's like no, snipers like, and everything. I saw a video of, way before like they were uh doing like the raid ideas of a guy that like was trying to get just close and he's like you see that car all the way up there? There's a sniper up there and he's already aiming at me. Damn. And, and yeah, they're like, in Lincoln County. Area 51 is in Lincoln County, which is north of Las Vegas mm-hmm. and like right on the border of you just after charleston and nellis mm-hmm. mm. so like if you're going to salt lake you'll probably pass you'll probably pass through lincoln county terrifying i don't that's pretty close to y'all it's real close so like there's ufos going in and out of there often <laughs> allegedly yeah, it's the movie <laughs> army of the dead right yeah i mean I don't it know. Was I've never thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen no UFO. But recently. have you looked? But I haven't looked. Hey. I don't, I don't have, have time a telescope. to go outside and be like, yeah. Hey, yeah, right. <laughs> for real. And you can't see, you can't see shit. And you can't see stars in Vegas. So, like, oh, yeah, you have to have right. like a telescope. Yeah. And I just don't, I don't care enough personally. I know there's people that do. Neek's not one of them. Okay, Colin. Got it. Let me open this up to the group. <laughs> Look, everybody you clear your fucking schedules. Let me, <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me open this up to the group and I want your opinions. If money was an option and you could settle on a new planet, are you out of here? No. I got so much money. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> this is I, my how planet. would you spend the money on the planet? No, I'm yeah. saying to get to another planet. To get to another planet. <laughs> right. So you get to the other planet and then you're just chilling, right? Or is is it already set up with, with like housing and everything? I mean, I feel like there's already has to be a in- framework implemented on this new planet whenever we start putting people up there. Oh, okay. Well, if the framework is set up, then yeah, well, fuck it. Why not? 
I'm better never off, leaving Las better Vegas. Better off flying though. everybody else out of here. Yeah. I'm staying home, bro. I love Las Vegas. I'm picking my Vegas. least favorite people of the universe and then sending them off into other planets. Yeah, money's not an option. I'm just sending <laughs> people away. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you want a house? Got you one. It's all Got the way you. on fucking it's Saturn. Fucking Good luck. Pluto. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right, which one of you guys has Facebook? Get on the ship here. <laughs> <laughs> all my doctors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Everybody gather up. We got you a nice right, community on, on fucking next, Mars. Who is on next? Who is on change of heart? Uh, who else? <laughs> room on the left. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, a new planet sounds kind of great. This one sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to see what's like available out there. Yeah. Yeah. They'd have I to mean, be like, yo, this planet over here, though. <laughs> Realistic, realistically dope. the trajectory we're going in for this planet isn't great <laughs> to be completely honest <laughs> money's not an object though i could just destroy meteors yeah yeah we'll be fine yeah we'll travis, just... you staying or going build on top travis is out travis yeah. is out of here that's out a no-brainer here. yeah i'm out of yeah. here i'm taking all i'm taking all the music from here and being able to like hey i made this all Oh my God! You're gonna do the yep. What was that Beatles movie? I'm gonna do the Biff. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna Biff the music industry. Yo, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Travis, Travis gets off the plane dressed like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I take incredible. one step and I just stand there though. But here's the thing: they're all from Earth. <laughs> they all I know, right? <laughs> like we were there. We. What are you doing, bro? We. We know all, who Michael Jackson is. We all know of you the from fucking... Earth. Take a step over here into this room, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the spaceships take it off. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. <laughs> Just a man dressed like Michael Jackson chasing a spaceship back to Earth, <laughs> <laughs> crying. Like is that Michael Jackson crying? Like Captain EO crying up there. Captain EO. <laughs> Where's Bubbles? Oh, Bubbles. He's returned. Bubbles. Shout out to Bubbles. Shout we had a whole Bubbles, episode man. almost dedicated well, shout to Shout out, Bubbles. We Planet need to somehow, the apes, but with Bubbles. We need to get our podcast to be played at Bubbles Sanctuary, wherever he's being held up at. <laughs> Free up. Bubbles. Free Bubbles. Shut Forget up. Britney. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, we'll worry about her later. <laughs> before we jet out of here, we do have to talk about uh, Life is Beautiful. Gentlemen, how was that festival for you guys? I know, Nick, you played for a pack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's because that party that I played, Funktacular, is uh, me and Wolf both are resident at that. So we That's right. swap. Oh, dope. Um, yeah, we yeah. switch off Sundays. We switch off. Um, us and uh, Mez Meadows. He is the homie. Uh, so the three of us all alternate. Um, but yeah, I got Life is Beautiful weekend on that. It was sick. I didn't actually go to the festival. Did you go to the festival? Not at all. Were you in the neighborhood I, at all? I was down there Friday and Saturday just because I had to play at Nerd and I played at Corduroy on that Friday. And then I was out of there because I can't stand the traffic and I can't be on my feet for too long because then I start complaining. It's I'm, brutal. The, I'm the Larry David of DJing, so <laughs> I'm like, I'm like no, no, why would I? So, I got music at home. <laughs> I got music at home. Fine. So for those that don't know, Life is Beautiful happens in downtown Las Vegas. And um there the East Fremont is kind of like the uh the where all the bars and all that stuff is, and that's outside of the festival grounds. So Commonwealth. Uh, corduroy disco pussy and all those other venues are all still open they are usually the after party for each day mm. um so if you land one of those you're gonna like guaranteed to have a fucking killer night if you're playing downtown that night if you're not playing the festival already so it's a lot of fun but gotcha. it's a festival and it's really hard to park if you're just working it's still like hot as balls out there too, right? It's not as bad as it was. It was 90, 92, I think, that, that weekend. Like right now we're like 90, I think, today. <laughs> we're cooling down. 
for cooling down. Does it always take place in September? Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think maybe EDC, EDC was gonna be super EDC hot. EDC was gonna be because it, it was supposed to be in May. Yeah, and they changed. Now it's October. That. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> yeah, because we get cold Halloween on the day. It just goes from mm, mm-hmm. we get a month of like ninety and maybe a little eighties, and then boom, it's cold. Yeah, that's how it is in Portland too. Halloween hits were cold, but uh, EDC had to change because uh, people were getting like heat stroke. Mm. So they they had to take it out of the summer, and I think they're like November now. If I'm right, like they rescheduled it for October, so this okay. is coming in a month. Yeah, and it, so, and it only got rescheduled because of the COVID stuff. Mm. Yeah, because they were so so they were still planning on doing it in the yeah they, the they were originally in June. They were doing June, and then mm-hmm. they moved it to May, and then obviously this whole stuff happened. Now it's going to be in October. Insane, like the worst time to have an outdoor festival in las vegas it's too hot june and july are the hottest months it's entirely too hot there's no i can't think of any act i would sit through that heat for all day you're over 100 at night no way it's inescapable you're outside there's nothing you can do i can't think you're you're you're, you're partaking you know what i mean in all the favors having a good time probably not drinking enough water yeah boom you're in the fucking hospital tent is there no. any current touring act that you guys would wait in that heat for the strokes Woo! Mm. i'm gonna see him in uh next month actually the heat I strokes. Like cosmo last time the heat here. strokes yes the heat okay. strokes <laughs> i saw the co- i saw them over at cosmo at a yeah, chelsea there. theater last yeah. time they were here that's sick I waited outside at for tickets to MTV's two dollar bill club at the Huntridge uh, to see the Beastie Boys. That was hot as hell. It was hot. It was hell hot. Damn. It was Beasties and who? It was, just, was it just them. Yeah, it was for the two dollar bill club. So it was just them. That's worth it though. Looking back, like that's an experience of a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna open the Huntridge up apparently. Yeah, they're remodeling and opening the Huntridge. I heard. Uh, like somebody wild and i don't I, this is just hearsay i have no idea how much truth there is but somebody told me like saweetie was going to be at the grand opening and i'm like or what that's a weird <laughs> booking for like a with, downtown theater with four nuggets for everybody <laughs> yeah mm. saweetie sauce <laughs> that's my best friend uh welcome to mcdonald's how <laughs> can i get you today uh, travis is there anyone you would wait in that heat for it no travis is are nope. you kidding me? That's a no-brainer. We know exactly who he's gonna go wait in the heat for. No oh. way. Hove. You would Oh, not. I was gonna say Joe to see. No, Hove. I would for I would for Hove. Is Joe to see a touring act? No, but I feel like if they came back, Travis would wait in the 115 degree weather for it. Wait, are uh, they because I want to just sit there and like listen to Joe to see like comfortable. <laughs> I as a, to as a melting you. ice cream sandwich, I'm I be a melting ice cream sandwich. Listening to Joe to see, uh, it's, it's forever, my lady. While I'm sweating my balls off, oh my not God. hot. <laughs> Is Joe to see broken up or no? I mean, no, because Mr. Dalvin just announced that he's going to be going with them on on a couple of their new shows. Hmm. So Mr. Dalvin's back. Fuji's reuniting too, going on tour. Fuji's are reuniting, going on tour. I saw a set list. Who posted yeah. that set list? Uh, Colin. Yes, yes. Um, nah, that wasn't Colin that posted it. Was it you? Was, <laughs> yeah, no, it was Colin. Oh, I would say go early. It's a double-edged sword. Go early if you want to see the actual tour. Go to one of the early shows, but also they're still working it out. Mm. so it's like i don't know if this tour is going to work all the way through Mm -hmm. that's kind of wishful thinking to expect lauren hill to be on time and cool with these gentlemen expectations and gentlemen and gentlemen because she hasn't Um, been in the room with them in a minute i would say but go early and you're still seeing them work shit out so seeing that that too is like you could see some cool shit of them working shit out. 
you know? Yeah, but, like like Clef asked her to freestyle the other day. Yeah, and, yeah, like that's it. Yeah. She like instead she told the story of how they all met. Yeah. Which is like dope. But also people are in the crowd like, hey, is this second show gonna happen next week? Or you know, <laughs> like were we here for that shit? But it was also like a six song set list or something like that. Six or seven. Yeah, it's a very short set list. Do you ask for your money back if you just get pros? Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, if I go to the show and Proz is the last leg, I'm out. Do you sit through the concert still hoping that Lauryn Hill is going to show up if it's just Proz? Man, I guess. Okay, you're so you're potentially sitting through a whole Proz concert. I'm sitting there just because I might see Lauryn. (laughs) Fair enough. (laughs) But if I got to sit through a whole Proz show for nothing, I'll be mad. Yo, (laughs) give me this back. Yeah, I, mean, I sit crazy. 90 degrees under the whole palm trees. Yo, <laughs> the whole show. <laughs> you sat through the whole show. He does get a superstar like three times, like Jay Z in Paris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Run it back Run it again. Bam, bam, bam. My 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 vision is Pra sitting in a chair next to like an ornate gold phone, being like, Fuji's. It's time. <laughs> He's just been waiting this whole time. Yeah. Just nothing. 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 Takes off the Quiznos apron. It's time. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's cold, man. My band's getting back still together. Making money My band's off getting of back together. Superstar. Pros, seem, Pros seems like he's he's a cameo type. Let's let's clean it up. He's yeah. like cameos for people. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, here's my question for the for the pod before we let everybody go. Proz or Memphis Bleak? Memphis Bleak. That's easy. Not even a... Yeah. Memphis Bleak. And Bleak, holla. <laughs> Yo. Bleak. You're um, probably going to get Jay-Z. Let's be honest. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sitting around waiting for Jay-Z. At the very least, yeah. you're going to get state property. Yeah, yeah. The very Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's a show exactly. we're waiting for. The payoff... Yeah, because the const- constellation prize, if you bleak, if, no bleak is the constellation prize. Yeah, if you get nothing, you still you went to a Memphis Bleak show, and exactly. that's better than going to a Proz show. Exactly. Um, fuck that. Yeah, that's a fucking Proz show. <laughs> um, hey, oh, okay, okay, Proz or Spliff Star, right? So, so you, you can't you can't gonna... go to a Spliff Star show. Who's what song does he have? You get a spliff just spitting buses verses. Oh, I'm out. I'm not and going. Th- but this is the thing, though. Everybody knows that spliff can spit buses verse just as good or better. I'm still than good. Busta at times. I'm good on the hip hop karaoke show. I'm good. All right, hold up. Saigon or Cassidy show? Ooh, Cassidy, see, I guess Cass, bro. That's a that's that's a show for the heads. Does, Sa- does Saigon get a get a J guest guest appearance? I don't I don't know anybody that I don't know I don't think so for the Oh Baby remix. Does Saigon get the turtle guest appearance? Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. No, nah, I'm not. So I signed him. <laughs> he left his demo in my car. <laughs> so yo, let me circle back to some shit. Before we get out of here, I want to give you a chance to plug your music. We've been talking a lot about yeah, other people's sure. music. <laughs> We're talking about everybody else's music. We've gone so, so off the rails. Thank you for sitting through with us and fucking that around with us. I Can't it Fuck t- With You is like kind of running up right now. Yeah, it is. Are you stoked? It's doing. It's doing its thing. It's doing its thing, bro. We were hoping people would like it, and uh, some people did. So we're happy it's, about that. Who And has, it's free. And it's free. So go get that. Who is your favorite? I don't want to say favorite. Who was you? Who are you most surprised to see play it out? Um, I guess Dylan, because uh, Dylan Francis, because he he's such a good producer in my eyes. And the fact that he liked it. He was one of the first guys that even like supported any of our tracks actually back mm. in the Moomba days. Mm. But uh like he's grown so much since then and 
he's such a good producer to me that he liked it and i was like all right cool well there That's we go tight. Oh, yeah. tight. it meant that much more oh yeah it's cool to see like the evolution like i told you the other night i was like i've been low-key like going to your shows for a, a minute <laughs> like and didn't even realize like in the beginning that i was going to your shows because I've been seeing you, you did all you were playing a lot of the blog house stuff back in the day. Shout out to the homie Shred because he was doing it too. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Vanguard and Insert Coins back in those days. Also, shout out to fucking yeah. uh, Diplo and Dylan and all and Dave Fogg and all those guys that were there too. Um, it's just kind of funny to see like the trajectory. So it's kind of cool to see you getting the cosign from these guys. And I, I really am wishing you the best of luck with that shit, man. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you guys. Going well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thank you. It's no easy task to continue to push through and make music and be inspired and get up every morning with uh, a game plan or every week when all this shit's going on. So hats off, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah because Luckily, I got a good partner in Shoko and he's literally a genius when it comes to production and whatnot. So absolutely. Got to shout out Shoko. Shout out Shoko all day. Garcia. I That's want a, you guys to my favorite uh, producer. I want you guys to plug your socials so people know where to grab your shit, grab all oh. of yours and Shelko's tracks. Um, yeah, let us know. Shit, they yeah, can we're even on, grab it on yeah. Direct Music Service. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, go they for can it. grab it on directmusicservice.com. Directmusicservice.com, where you can grab all your music from. Go ahead and get our code five on five. Spell it out: F I V E. O N F I V E for a discount code direct direct music service.com. Yes, sir. All right. Now yes. let's plug, the, let's plug yeah. our guests. Let's plug it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, tailing on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can find us on Spotify. It's uh, Shoko Garcia and Team Wolf. All our music is on there. Uh, our SoundCloud is just Team Wolf because our actual account got taken down. Oh. Way back in the SoundCloud purge days. So it's uh, soundcloud.com slash Teen Wolf, all one word. And then uh, you get I Can't Fuck With You on there for free. Feel free. Uh, on socials, at Teen Wolf Remix for Instagram and Twitch, or Twitter, sorry. And then Shelko is at Shelko Garcia. Mm -hmm. And then our Twitch is uh, twitch.tv slash SGXCW. We uh, try and do, you know, Monday through thursday at 6 p.m that specific time pull through come through hang out Hell let's have yeah. some fun yeah we have so much more we need to talk about with you we will we'd love to have you back uh Whenever. I'm, I'm <laughs> we in. spiral we spiral yeah. here um what do you got coming up uh this week i'm off but uh next week i am uh doing the emo night at uh corduroy on tuesday on Wednesday, I am at uh, Gold Spike, which we might have Baby Bash. I don't, I'm not even sure. Baby Bash might be coming through with Frankie J. Oh, shit. And doing like a random pop up. Uh, and then the, the weekend, I believe I am at, I got to look at my schedule. I'm, I'm, I'm in Vegas. Follow me on, the, <laughs> the, on Instagram and I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to post all that stuff. I'd, just lose track of days and i don't even know what day it is today we're gonna pull up on you on wednesday we're gonna be in Ooh. town uh okay. nick yeah. you'll be back uh yeah late night mm -hmm. on the late on the late late night uh, yeah, and shoko will be over at a disco pussy playing with uh walshy walshy oh, fire dope. from major yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah i love the fact that they're just throwing everything at the wall over there they're like huge lineup house electro Boom, everything. I, I think they're just happy with making back or breaking even mm -hmm. and then having cool shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More venues need to have that mindset. It, it, Vegas is, is notoriously a bottom line city along with LA, along with Vegas, New York. More people just need to be like, yo, the money will come and here's this dope shit. Yeah. And you get the crowd that you want. Yeah. Exactly. A hundred percent. A lot of people will be like, oh, man, like, you know, been having a lot of bad, like, bad crowd lately. La, la, la. I'm like, well, it's the music that you want us to play. You know, mm -hmm. you want us to play what's popular. If you want to, you know, 
change the music and like we try and curate that type of stuff you know we'll play the house stuff or we'll play the you know uh remixes and shit like that and they'll be like ah guys i don't know it's a little bit too much maybe just play you know the usual shit stuff on the radio all right don't complain yeah Yeah. (laughs) when the word spreads that's what the strip's for right to play that shit though yeah yeah, the downtown companies I think have now like taken that mindset. Like that's what the strip's for. So downtown mm-hmm. can be where the cool shit's at. Mm-hmm. Get the bullshit up the street, cool shit down here. Yeah, that's all that matters, man. Um, as I mentioned, we will be out in Vegas this next week. Which segue, Kings Nick? I think it's time for you to talk about a little party that's coming back. Oh yeah, so October thirteenth. <laughs> We are starting Paradise Fever at On The Record. I'm really fucking excited about that. Um, This little downtown disco party is coming to Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, The 26th, we are doing uh, Acceptable in the 80s, our 80s party at Emporium uh, Emporium inside of Area 15. So 80s vibes inside of an arcade. Shout out to Emporium. Shout out to Yoli. Um, Yoli. Love that name of that party too, by the way. Yeah, uh, mm. came up with it all on my own. Dick, dick. <laughs> Phenom gave me the idea for the idea for the for the name of the party. He gave me yeah. the name, not the idea. He gave me the name. Calvin Harris, right? Calvin yeah. Harris reference. Yeah. Uh, plug that uh, Paradise Fever IG. Paradise Fever Disco at Paradise Fever Disco on Instagram. Um, you will receive. You'll find all of our stuff. So our dates, our our merch, everything will be on there. What um, was that? Ju- that you guys are coming. October 13th, Wednesday, October 13th. Jupiter is going to be there uh, opening up. I'll be playing. Uh, there's going to be fucking, I think we're going to have a live performer that. Oh, shit. Can I'm off. I'll be there. Come through. It's going to be fucking nuts where I'm meeting up with the agency, like, I think in two days to talk more, to like lock in some acts. It's fucking crazy. I can't believe what it's going to be. I'm really excited. Everybody needs to come out. Everybody needs to come out to Vegas. On the record, Wednesday, October 13th for Paradise Fever Disco. Yes. If you're listening, I know a lot of people are that go out to Vegas and they're like, what do I do out in Vegas? There it is. There it is. You guys hit up Teen Wolf, hit up Nick Lopez. Um, Don't go to the fucking strip and go to some huge $20,000 table bottle service. Go to see some dope shit. Go hear something different. Go, uh, Go enjoy yourself. Unless we're there, but if we're not there, just come see us, find us where we're at downtown. Yeah, exactly that part. Um, Gentlemen, I think it's time to turn everyone loose. Uh, Teen Wolf, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. We could talk forever. Yeah. Um, We will be back next week with a special show live from Las Vegas. We'll be all in the same room um, recording next week's episode. Um, I'm not sure who our guest is yet. I have a couple ideas on who we're going to reach out to. Um, if you are in Vegas, I'm going to do a shameless plug right now. Tuesday, I will be playing at Commonwealth. And Wednesday, I will be at Best Friend. Come through. Come through and show up and uh, support. Nick, you'll be at Emporium on Wednesday. Yes. Right? And then um, Teen Wolf's Night as well. And I'll be hopping around to all three of y'all. So. <laughs> You'll be all of them. Yeah. I so will be coming, there. You're at attendance. Commonwealth on Tuesday. I'm at uh, Corduroy that Tuesday. Okay. So I'll be we'll, pulling We'll up. be down to we'll yeah. take a shot. Yeah. Do an emo. Come okay. cry. Uh, we will be back next week. Everyone stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't cough in each other's mouths. And hey, go White Sox. South side, baby. Go White Sox. South baby. side. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's all that matters, really. It we'll is. see you next week. All right.